More than four months after driving a tanker truck into a crowd of protesters on the 35W Bridge, 35-year-old Bogdan Vacherko is now charged with two crimes, misdemeanor criminal vehicular operation and felony threats of violence. Investigators alleging in the complaint that they can now show he wanted to scare the crowd out of his path. This morning, Vacherko's defense team called the charges unexpected months after he was released from custody and appeared to be given the benefit of the doubt after investigators revealed that he had entered the interstate before blockades were put into place. We don't have any information that makes this seem like this was an intentional act. He saw the crowd and initially, uh, what it looks like, he panicked uh, and he just kept barreling forward and then he saw what he describes as a young woman on a bike fall down in front of him and he slammed on the brakes. Just before the incident, Vacherko had delivered a load of fuel to a gas station on Lindale and the day after the incident, the owner vouched for him. He was doing his job, that's it. Obviously, he didn't know there were people on the highway and I also didn't know people were on the highway because I was on the highway at the exact same time. Vacherko's defense team argues that he was driving legally and that when confronted with people obstructing an open interstate, he used his instinct and training to keep the truck from jackknifing, riding in in a statement, it is difficult to comprehend how Mr. Vacherko's conduct has now resulted in him being charged with a felony. He should be commended for following his training and avoiding needless injury and death when confronted with an unforeseeable emergency. But in the complaint, investigators make the case that he could see it coming. They cite multiple traffic cameras and cell phone videos revealing not only the crowd ahead, but multiple cars stopped on the road ahead of him. They also videotaped a reenactment using a similar truck driving the same stretch of road and wrote, the video shows that the defendant's line of sight would have given him sufficient time to stop his truck after viewing the crowd. And according to the complaint, in Vacherko's own statement to investigators, he admitted that he was kind of in a hurry and that when he saw the crowd, he hoped that if he went slow, the crowd would let him pass. And though the complaint states that he also said he stopped after seeing someone fall, it goes on to say that he also acknowledged that he saw cars pulling off to the right of the highway as he approached, adding that he could have stopped the truck sooner. According to the complaint, there was one person who suffered some injuries while trying to get out of the way of that tanker truck. Now, Vacherko himself also suffered some injuries as he was pulled out of the cab by many people on the bridge before his arrest. Now, at the time, he had said he did not want to press any charges, and so far, no charges against anyone else have been filed.